Dr. Jelaine Berquist, Social Media Editor for Seminars in Arthritis and Rheumatism. I recently had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Mark McPherson. He is the lead author of the study, Management of MDA5 Antibody Positive Clinically Amyopathic Dermatomyositis Associated Interstitial Lung Disease, a Systematic Review. This is currently in the April 2022 issue, available online. Keep watching for details regarding the study and clinical implications. Well, thank you for joining me, Dr. McPherson. Thank you for having me. Uh, so the first question I have for you, I'm wondering if you could walk us through your study in terms of the purpose, results, and conclusions. Absolutely. So in our study, the, our purpose of the, study of, the, uh, of the review was to identify and evaluate treatment options for MDA5 antibody-associated ILD and rapidly progressive ILD, and to discuss some of their efficacy and outcomes, and, as well as some of the harms uh, of, those, of those treatments. And the methods we used, we, uh, we did a literature search of multiple databases, including PubMed, Medline, and others, uh, using a combination of keywords. And we uh, identified papers that treated, that dealt with the treatment of MBA5 antibody ILD uh, specifically. And also we eliminated those that dealt with less than 10 patients. So 10 patients or more uh, were included in our study and we considered papers only in English for that. So uh, the results of the study was that overall there was limited data. It's a, it's a rare entity and also a, a disease that carries considerable mortality. Uh, as high as 50% at six months because it's associated with rapidly progressive interstitial lung disease. And we had one randomized controlled trial in open label design. Uh, we had three prospective studies uh, that used that were matched against historical control, 10 retrospective studies, and one retrospective case series that we saw. So 15 studies in all, 399 patients uh, were identified in that. And some of the most important conclusions that we uh, came to with the limited data that we have was that combination therapy used up front was very important for this uh, disease is, uh, as it is a, a, a disease that carries high mortality uh, and associated with rapidly progressive ILD. So using combination therapy up front as quick as possible is, is the most effective. Um, everyone uses high dose steroids with this disease. And the question was, uh, besides the high dose steroids, what else do you use to treat uh, MDA5 ILD. And the what we found was the most effective treatment was the high-dose steroids coupled with IV cyclophosphamide plus a calcineurin inhibitor, uh, either the triple therapy uh, or combination therapy with two agents, either the high-dose steroids and the IV cyclophosphamide or, cyclo, uh, or calcineurin inhibitors. So uh, the evidence was a little conflicting on what uh, which of those to use, whether to go with the two agents or the three agents um, in terms of mortality. So I think either of those options are, are, uh, are acceptable. Um, as far as the calcineurin inhibitors, there was uh, tecrolimus and cyclosporin A that were used. And in, the, um, in one study, it was the randomized controlled trial, they did a head-to-head -head between tecrolimus and cyclosporin A and tecrolimus was found to be superior in terms of mortality to cyclosporine. So if I had to use, uh, if I was using the calcineurin inhibitors, I would take the tecrolimus. Other therapies to use uh, to consider would be uh, tofacitinib and uh, rituximab. Those were some that had some potential as far as refractory therapy plasma exchange was used in a couple of the um, retrospective studies, and it looked like it had some potential. It, the next time you see someone with myopathic dermatomyositis and MDA5 positive antibodies, would this change your clinical practice? And, and if so, how? It absolutely would. I, I've, first of all, I've never seen it. Just It's a, such a rare entity, and I, I hope I, I don't see it because of the high mortality associated with it. But if I did, I think I'd have an idea of what I would, how I would treat it. And so it, I, if if I had to, if I had to encounter this, I would do high dose steroids as the foundational therapy, and I would combine that with either a calcineurin inhibitor, and I would use tecrolimus because of the uh, uh, RCT that showed the um, the superiority of that to cyclosporine A, and I would probably combine it with IV cyclophosphamide based on the uh, patients and uh, how immunosuppressed they already are. Uh, 
Um, but I think I would use either a combination of those uh, or triple therapy with all three. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. For the complete article, please visit www.sciencedirect.com backslash journal backslash seminars in arthritis and rheumatism. If you're interested in more video content from seminars in arthritis and rheumatism, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.